Hey viewers, um, welcome back. In my previous videos, I had explained about uh, basics of hydroponics and various uh, things related to understanding hydroponics. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a compilation of various questions have been asked uh, in various forums. Some of them are YouTube videos, some of them um, during my experience in store dealing with people. And during uh, my training sessions, people ask me a lot of questions with respect to um, the basics of hydroponics. So I thought I'll compile all these questions together and um, present in a format where um, it's easier for you to understand and get all your basic questions sorted. Hopefully um, this session will answer all your questions. But if you have further questions on these questions, you can definitely put them in the comment box and I'll try to answer the questions. Um, so here goes, um, I, have, I have my notes uh, with all the questions that I have uh, uh, take a note of in my previous sessions. So I'll read through some of them and see if time permits we will um, try to answer these questions. First one. What all plants can be grown in hydroponics? See hydroponics is a way of feeding your plants. So there is no stopping in terms of what plants you can grow. You can grow practically any plant. Whatever plants need food, you can give them and they will grow. There is, there is absolutely, there is no list that you can grow in hydroponics. Every single plant under the sun can be grown using hydroponics. That's, that's, that's how it is. You want to grow coconut tree in it? Absolutely can. You want to grow banana in it? Yes. You want to grow tomato? Yes. Lettuce? Yes. You name it, we can grow it. That's how it is. So now you may ask, hey, how is it possible for me to grow a banana tree in the water culture? Sure, you may be or you may be not be able to do it. So that's why we decide the right kind of growing system for the plant. So what characteristics or what support a banana plant needs is so much different from what a lettuce need. So one, based on the plant's requirement, we decide the kind of system. Not only the plant's requirement, we take into account the weather, the affordability, all that. Um, so, the, the answer is what plants can be grown? Anything under the sun. And also at the end of this video, I have some, um, a lot of videos of us growing various plants. So, I want to take this opportunity to tell people that don't limit yourself to just growing, you know, what you see in the internet. You know, spread your wings wide, you can grow almost anything in hydroponics. You can try banana, pineapple, you can, you name it. So uh, my invitation is don't restrict yourself into what you can grow. Um, check out some of the videos of stuff we have grown. It was uh, amazing fun uh, with hydroponics and we continue to have fun. Um, so don't, don't hesitate, explore and um, make use of this video uh, and you know, put, put um, more questions in the comment box if you have any.
Second question. Can hydroponics be used for a home garden? Absolutely. Um, so like I said, hydroponic is just a concept. Hydroponics says, or the, the, the definition of hydroponics is if you know how to feed the plants, you can do it. So there is no question of whether you can use it for home or not. Of course, you can use it for home. Now, what kind of systems I can use it for home? What kind of system I can use for commercial farm? Those depends on certain uh, characteristics. Uh, for example, depending on the type of plants, we can decide what kind of systems to grow with. So you can grow almost all home garden plants or you can grow vegetables, herbs in your home, ornamental plants, flowering plants. See, these are all just plants and they need food and hydroponic is just a way of feeding plants. Why I'm repeating this is you need to get this right. Uh, once you get this understanding of what is hydroponics, it is very easy to apply it to any field. Uh, for example, we uh, back in 2012, uh, we created a living wall with hydroponics. And um, so we put that in front of my uh, garden store and it was just fantastic. People used to come and really touch and see is it uh, real or what? I mean, um, so, so there is no specific form to hydroponics so in order to apply hydroponics for your home garden you need to come up with uh, the list of vegetables that you want to grow and you know what kind of systems you want to choose so essentially what we are telling is if you decide to grow a plant either in water or in cocoa peat and water them with hydroponic nutrients there you have it your own hydroponic system okay so let's go with what is a hydroponic system a hydroponic system is an equipment or group of things that will help you feed the plants and also satisfy the requirements of the plant to achieve the optimum result. A little more detail about hydroponic systems probably in a separate video that helps you understand what a system is or what a system should look like and what it should not have. Okay, things like that. Um, the next question I keep getting is So it's very simple to start with hydroponics. You need a place um, with good sunlight. What do I mean by good? It should have direct sunlight as much possible or at least four to six hours of diffused light if you can. And uh, you need a growing system. Growing system is where we put the plants, water it and all that. It can be multiple system. It can have an NFT. Various systems are available. You can choose one of that and some plants you can start from seeds or you can buy seedlings i would say the easiest one we have is a small raft system that's something that's easiest for people to start it doesn't need power all the time you can manage with the outage here and there i mean if you want to really get the essence of hydroculture or if you want to do with substrate culture you can easily do just buy a bag of cocoa peat and put your seeds in it and start watering with hydroponic nutrients it's it's that simple Okay, so that's how you can start with hydroponics. Oh, this is a good one. Um, is hydroponic organic? No, it's not. Um, hydroponics uses synthetic fertilizers for uh, their nutrients. So by, by that, it cannot be organic. Um, so it uses chemical fertilizers. It's as simple as that. You cannot call anything that is grown in hydroponics as organic. If you use the, or if you don't use pesticides while you grow the crops, you can call them pesticide free, but you cannot call them organic. How 
how is it better than regular farming i would not compare it with regular farming i would compare it with where it is better uh, in terms of i would say you know the general question that people have is how is it better than soil production it depends on what kind of soil you have if you have the best soil hydroponic produce and the best production from the best soil is going to be the same because it's about feeding the plants if hydroponics is giving the nutrients that the plants need and your soil also has the same thing the plants are going to grow well so it's not like hydroponics will do always better it depends on what you're comparing it with for example a same soil continuously being used can deteriorate and result in lesser and lesser yield but with hydroponics it is easier to continuously repeat the same amount of yield without having to pay attention to the crop rotation or etc so that is something that is unique to hydroponics of course you need to probably change the cocoa peat and things like that but it gives you repeatability consistency and uniformity that's how it is different from conventional farming the next popular question that i've been getting is what is the easiest plant to grow and and there is a good reasoning behind why everyone asks so what is easy so i'm going to tell few crops that are very easy to grow and probably you can note it down or you know um, i'll put it in the description if you need the the most easiest is in my definition is that that takes the shortest time to produce the yield so that you can start quickly if you are the impatient kind like me uh, you can quickly get a harvest and feel good about yourself uh, so that brings us to the topic of greens um, greens are the easiest to grow and then they they are readily harvestable after like 10 15 days of growing so i would say definitely start with um, spinach uh, one of the easiest to grow you can start with uh, basil if you like bok choy amaranthus very very easy to grow you can you can just close your eyes and arugula is also easier to grow although um, i've i've seen some of them having difficulty in growing arugula we will we'll get to um, problem solving in a some other, a different video so i would say look at greens most of the greens are under uh, one month when i say one month it is from planting in the system to harvest uh, if you are directly sowing probably it will take 30 35 days if you are transplanting uh, we do about 10 to 15 days in the nursery tray and then if you are doing into nft in the nft it stays about 25 to 30 days overall i would say 40 days 40 days the time to harvest and that's good enough the after one month period if you want to grow with you want to try with two months crop so what are all those two month crops um there are some herbs that take one and a half two months to mature parsley celery there are two months crop once you get your hands on you know when you get the expertise to grow the one month crop you can you can upgrade yourself to the two month ones Uh, zucchini is a two month crop european cucumbers um, that doesn't need a lot of ripening um, those are all two months crop chili chilies can start in the second month sometimes brinjals can do uh, what need not ripen to harvest two months crop there are three month crops those are all the regular long term crops um, i forgot to mention beans also in a two month crop okay uh, brinjal bell pepper tomato from red chilies yes these are all 3 months crop because in 2 months they'll produce the fruits and the third month is for the ripening so uh, those are all your 3 months crop and the 3 months crop not only just uh, e started 3 months but they also continue over a long time uh, but that's not the case with greens some greens you have to uproot them and consume some of them you can do a multi cut um so i think this is the order in which uh, i would look at growing plants if you uh, especially if from the ease of growing perspective 
start with greens you will uh, you have a lot of options i'm going to uh, put the variety names in the description box uh, you can definitely try one of those